What is going on guys? Welcome back to your 17 C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be covering something called the if else statement. Now let's go ahead and first I want to build a basic if statement because an if else statement is pretty much like an enhanced if statement. So let's go ahead and use the knowledge or the information that we learned in the last tutorial and build on it. So let's go ahead and make a simple program. We have a variable called age and go ahead and set it equal to whatever your age is. Now go ahead and make a basic if statement. Now if you remember from the last tutorial, all an if statement does is it runs a simple test. If that test is true, it runs a bit of code. If that test is false, it doesn't do anything. So let's go ahead and test age. Say if age is greater than 60, let's go ahead and say um, C out. Wow, you are old. So if the user is over 60, let's go ahead and say you are old. And now let's go ahead and end that line, run this program, and see what we get. We get nothing. And that is because I'm 24, so this program does nothing. But you build this program, you show it to your boss, and you're like, hey, where's my raise? And they're like, wow, this program is impressive and all. However, wouldn't it be nice if we could give a message to the user no matter how old they are? What if instead of skipping this if the test is false, let's give him uh, all, an alternative message like, if anyone's over 60, we're going to tell them they're old. If anyone is under 60, we're going to tell them, hey, get a job. So you're saying, all right, um, I suppose I could put another if statement and then right age is less than 60 but you know what that isn't the best way to do things I'm gonna show you guys something called the if else statement so the if statement basically ran a simple test and if that test is true it ran this bit of code and if it was false it did nothing it skipped it but now we wanna say alright else if the test is false then we wanna run this bit of code so either way it's gonna run a bit of code either way. If it's true, it's going to run this bit of code. And let me just go ahead and copy that. If it's false, it's going to run this bit of code. But let's not put wow you're old for either one. If they're under 60, um let's go ahead and write you are young, get a job. So now when we go ahead and run our program, unlike before when it says all right, since this test isn't true, I'm just going to skip it. It says all right. This test isn't true, so what am I supposed to do if it's false? Well, I'm supposed to do the else. So let's go ahead and, enough of me talking, run it, and it says, you are young, get a job. And of course, if the user is like 87, we run the program, and they say, wow, you are old. So now you can see, instead of just having a basic if statement where it was either run a bit of code or do nothing, we now have the option of something happens for true and something happens for false so now either way your computer program is going to do something so that is the basics of an if else statement so now that you guys know that let me go even deeper I said that you can go ahead and run a line of code inside an if statement well you can also run multiple lines of code just by putting them under each other so if we go ahead and we copy this we can go ahead and paste it paste it paste it it doesn't matter you can go ahead and run it four times as long as it's in between those braces right there so we're saying alright what if I wanted to do something like this what if not only I wanted to check if they were over 60 but if they were over 60 I wanted to check if they were over a hundred so let's go ahead and do that so what I want, want to teach you guys now is that inside if statements instead of just running simple lines of code you can also put additional if statements this is called nesting if statements so let's go ahead and say if and remember this code is only going to run if the user is over 60 so now we want to test if the user is over 100 and then we're going to write C out um why are you still alive I know this is harsh but hey just trying to get the point across so now let's go ahead and we'll run this bit of code right now so our program is going to say this all right if the age is over 60 which it is I'm gonna run this bit of code right here 
and in this bit of code I'm going to test if the user is over 100. Well they're not over 100 but they are over 60 so nothing's going to happen. So we're going to run this, nothing's going to happen. But say our user was 178. Pretty old huh? Well we're going to say alright, is your age over 60? Yes, so now go here. Is your age, is your age over 100? yes it is so now run this bit of code right here and we're gonna go ahead and run it and it's gonna say why are you still alive because come on guys let's face it if you're 178 years old you should be dead just saying so now we get, begin to see how we can make complex tests and very complex programs and I know that I, it's called nesting an if statement inside another if statement but you can also nest an if else in here and you can also nest another if in here and you be what you can do is you can nest if inside of if inside of ifs as many times as you want but say you wanted to test if the user was over 10 then over 20 then over 30 then over 40 and then 50 well there's even a more simple way to do this than nesting a thousand different ifs inside of each other and I'll probably be teaching you that in the upcoming tutorials but for now what I want you guys to take away from this tutorial is instead of a basic if statement where if the test is false then it just skips the code you can now add an else and what this does is it gives it an alternative choice and also aside from that you can also nest if inside other ifs so that way you can basically test two things and if two things are true run a bit of code so as long as you understand those concepts you should be good to go so for now Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, send me a message on my website, thenewboston.com, and I'll be glad to answer them for you. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to sub, and I will see you in the next tutorial.